Your Excellency, the Bishop of Cubao, the Right Reverend Abbot of the Abbey of Our Lady of Montserrat, the Reverend Fathers, Father Pong's family, brothers and sisters in Christ. Among the many and varied duties of a bishop, the care and love for priests ranks first. When I myself die and my name has been dropped from the Eucharistic prayer, the only legacy I wish to leave behind is that I loved all priests. Father Pong was one of the first ten priests I ordained on September 29, 2001, less than a month after my ordination as bishop. I love Father Pong, and I can say with gratitude and pride that he loved me too. He was at ease and relaxed to live with me whenever he needed time to ponder and pray. He lived with me in the bishop's house in Balanga for many months as he discerned the will of the Lord for him as a priest of the new diocese of Novaliches. He lived with me on many occasions in the Gupan to rest and sleep, to pray and chat, to eat and share stories, to get well from the mysterious weight loss he had years back. I say live, not visit. He came as a brother who happened to live far away, not as a guest. We love each other. Life is too short. We must show love before it is too late. It is tragic to say at the end of our lives, of course, I love you. My fault is I did not show it all the while. Father Pong and I shared dreams. We shared our struggles and loneliness. We shared our excitements and our boredoms. We shared from the depths of our souls as well as from the triviality of fun and leisure. I encouraged him in his passion for icon writing, even if I never got a chance to attend any of the white icon workshops. He knew that his dream was mine too. He knew how much I treasured his icon gifts to me. I have no regrets. Father Pong knew and felt we were brothers in dreams and visions, in struggles and confusions, in humorous wit and teary-eyed ponderings from the soul. Magkuyang mababaw pero malalim din. Pong the priest is dead. He flies his lifeless body in the midst of us is a stark reminder that one day, too, a funeral mass will be offered to implore God's mercy for our souls. He was, in the words of the Apostle Paul, weak among the weak, to win over the weak. He has become all things to all, to save at least some. He was a finely vested priest at the altar, and a pastor in the slums who smelled like the sheep. He was chaplain of many religious sisters and confessor of the dying and destitute. He was a student in the Prosopon School and a mentor for neophyte icon writers. He was a son of Inang Lupe and a devout disciple of the Nazareno he was a brother and a son, friend and co-pilgrim, wounded healer to send, sent to bear witness to God's mercy. 
Pong, God's priest, is dead. And we struggle to answer the question, Lord, bakit kayo ganyan? Why does God allow death to take away from us an almost 47-year-old priest with many more dreams to fulfill? His life had just begun. I am wrestling with God. Seeking to find an answer. And I cannot hear any answer. And God is quiet. As quiet as when Father Pong writes his icons. Perhaps he will never be able to hear any answer. The only word I can hear is, I am here, I am with you always. Father Pong is dead. But since that fateful morning of September 2001, he has been dying with the Lord every day at Mass, whispering the words, This is my body, this is my blood. The priest must die and rise with the Lord at every Mass he offers. One day that the priest does not die, is a day wasted and squandered. Father Pong made many friends and he made friends with Sister Death every day. Such that when Death visited him last September 17th, Father Pong saw Death as a sister calling to bring him to life. And Father Pong went with Sister Death. Father Pong is dead for us, but Father Pong has been embraced by eternity. He cannot die anymore. For all that Father Pong has been for all of us, we say salamat po, Lord Jesus. We must always remember Father Pong. Father Pong was not himself. We cannot remember Father Pong separate from God. Father Pong was Father Pong through God, with God, and in God. He was only a gift from the Lord, a mirror of God's mercy, hand of his compassion, and tongue of his good news. So Pong, wala nang buntong hininga, wala nang himutok, wala nang pangamba. Buti ka pa po. In our last photo, Taken last August 15, we were seen embracing each other at the sacristy of San Beda. His head resting on my left chest, as if trying to feel the beating of my heart. His arms were all around my chest too. It seemed like as he wanted to feel the fire of my soul, he also wanted me to feel secure in the wrapped arms of his embrace. Although his lifeless body cannot give me his assuring embrace anymore, I know that as God embraces Father Pong, he will still have a space to squeeze me within that heavenly embrace. Father Pong, 
Listen now to the beating, no longer of my heart, but the heart of the Lord. Rest in the heart of God. Thank you, Pong. I love you, Pong. Thank you for loving us, Pong. Salamat, Pong. <laughs>